and a new weekly vlog. So this is weekly vlog number five, I think, if I'm correct. Yeah. We've just finished week four, and week four was a really weird week. <laughs> it yes. was busy and very quiet, so we didn't do as much as we wanted. But the sun is shining today, and we're going to... We're going to Reading. Reading. So we're going to go to the Oracle, going to do a bit of shopping. Yeah, because it's somebody's birthday next week. On Friday! That's <laughs> me! So the plan is, I don't know if we mentioned it before, but um, I'm actually taking Luke away. You know where you're going. Yeah. So next Friday night, we're going to be travelling to the Cotswolds, yeah. which is very picturesque in the UK. Rich has got an early finish, so we're finishing finish. it at lunchtime. Yep, so we're going to stay in a lovely cottage, um, so stay tuned for that. And today we're going to go to Lush to get a bath bomb so that we can have it in the cottage. Yeah, it's kind of like a birthday ritual for yeah. me. It's like, for me, I love my bath, so like a birthday thing is having a really nice bath. Um, but also there's a Disney store. Um, Rich is just going to get in the right lane. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, um, they changed the road layout here like a while back and we don't always drive to Reading. Sometimes we train it. So yeah, we're going to see. There's a Disney store. Yep. There's a Primark. There's a Lush. Yeah. And also, in the UK, it's actually Mother's Day tomorrow. So we have Mother's Day in March, not May like the US. So we need to pick up Mother's Day cards. Yeah. We've already picked up presents. We've been a little bit late for the cards. A little bit hopefully late. Hopefully there's a few left. <laughs> Half decent. Yeah, and then tomorrow, my mum and my nan and granddad are coming to ours for lunch. Yeah. And then Rich is going to see his mum in the evening. So it works nicely that Rich gets to see my mum, my nan and my granddad. Nice. Uh, my brother's working so he can't make it, which is a shame. But yeah, well at least you can say hello to my mum and nan tomorrow and granddad. That'd be cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we're on our way and it's a beautiful, beautiful day. So I'm wearing a t-shirt because it's going to be 17 today, which is lovely spring weather. <laughs> November that we weren't going to renew. We were going to have a year or so off of Disneyland Paris. There's a lot of construction going on there, and a lot of improvements taking place. And yeah, and also we haven't had, we didn't have the best experiences in our last trips. We found that the pricing was going up quite a lot, and what we were getting wasn't really reflecting what we were spending. So we we're adding up these little trips, and they ended up being quite a lot. Quite a lot. So we yeah. had to just sort of. Sometimes you have to take a step back and think to yourself. Is that money well spent? Yeah, we look back at like, for example, Sequoia Lodge, where the pricing had doubled, and actually the room was lower quality than the one we were getting before. Yeah. Where just the annual pass rates were, you know, maybe the part of that's New York closing that there's limited hotels. Or, I don't know, but we just felt like the rooms were tired, and we were paying like 150 a night for a room where most of the things don't work. It's tired. So I don't have that negative on it, but I, I think it's good to be honest. Um, and some of you may be thinking that we've not been in a little while, so it's kind of just, just to share our own personal experiences. We are in a conundrum though, because when you renew your annual pass at Disneyland Paris, they give you 16 months for the price of 12, so you get an extra four months. And the prices are due to go up on the 1st of April, so we really need to decide this weekend. It's a bit of a dilemma. Because it's another 40 euros on top and we don't want to lose out on the extra four months. So we're thinking the annual passes would run from, it's still originally March when it expired. So what's that, 16 months? So like July, July 2020. We've got to say to ourselves, how many times would we like to go in that period? So yeah, that's where we're at. We've asked a couple of like polls online and we've got really mixed reviews. But yeah, we're going to make a decision. We've asked friends as well, but we've got mixed reviews, so it's like, ah, oh, what do we do? So watch this space, a decision will be made by tomorrow. <laughs> Berkshire Hospital. Looks nice from the outside. Great old building. Yeah. It's quite, traffic is quite bad going into uh, Reading, isn't it? It's pretty sad. Going it's because there's lots Reading. of lanes and people change lanes. And, and it's yeah. Saturday and everybody's out. It's not dry. But for those that don't know, Oracle is a mall. 
Reading, which is spelt reading, but pronounced Reading. <laughs> so yeah. No history lesson from there. There we go. I just realised that we're saying the Oracle, but people may not know what the Oracle is. Yeah. You know? Rich knows what the Oracle is. Oh yeah. Just realised <laughs> it is how many weeks? Five weeks today. Five weeks to California and our very first trip to Disneyland. And where will we be this time in three weeks? And three weeks we'll be in Shanghai. So yeah. this is like crazy having the countdown it's so exciting it's finally starting to feel like it's coming up so we're gonna have to start packing and doing some packing videos which we always forget to do but we're gonna try and do we're gonna try and do yeah. it there it is we made it and there's police behind us and rich is worried that i'm vlogging but you're not vlogging so it's <laughs> fine as long as you're not driving and vlogging i don't want to be pulled over here we are and it's expensive to park here Gonna get the ticket. One moment, please. Yay! Here we go. I'll look after that. There's always a race to get to the uh, barrier first. <laughs> We're outside. This used to be a Chili's here years ago. Years ago, it used to be. Yeah, Chili's. and there's the river. I do like this bit about running because it's got the lake running through it. Yeah, it floods sometimes. I've seen it flood up on here. Here we go. Rich is excited to shop. Whenever we come into the department store, we always gravitate to the suitcases. Just seen, just seen the sushi in here as well. I know there's a yo sushi and I'm really tempted but Luke doesn't eat fish. No. I knew what was up here. Krispy Kreme. You come up the escalator and you're met with that. That's good marketing. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's time for lush. That is well shiny. It's really nice. It reminds me of like a um, purple Death Star from Star Wars. <laughs> Okay, he's got a basket. I think you have this one. Yeah, this is one of my favourites. This is the... Um, so this one's really cool. It's like a black... Is it, what did you say? It's, a, a it's like rose, a jam. Rose jam. Turkish rose. Look at the bunny. <laughs> That's so cute. If you change it the other way, it looks like a dinosaur. Oh, does it? Yeah, it does. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's cute. I know, we discovered it. We're like, yeah! <laughs> comes purchases now it's time for Disney the moment has arrived pop up Disney here we go come on this way it's going back and it has got two ears it has got two ears the security tag goes on the right ear so it always flops down I think in last week's vlog someone spotted that it only had one ear but no two ears of course. Slowly coming here for the Disney music. Notepad is amazing. Look at this mugs. Oh wow! A Hanamin's family. That's so cool for Hawaii. Oh, that is really cool. Ten pounds. A Hanamin's family. These rolling pins are really cute. You've got some baking accessories. Yeah, and reduced to nine pounds sixteen. I want to show inside this pad. Come and have a look and look inside. How cool it is. 
How cool is that? Oh. Okay, so we just stopped in a place called Scribbler to pick up a card for our mum. One thing to note, it's not family friendly. It's not family friendly. There are some uh, joke cards in there. We got a Mother's Day card. This is family friendly. Mum, I love Thank you very much. much. <laughs> it just made us giggle, so we had to get it. And we both got the same one. <laughs> we have a habit of doing this. Like Mother's Day, they both get the same one. Ben's cookies. We have a habit of going to shopping centres that have Ben's cookies. It's quite so dangerous. I cannot describe the smell. Right we have now. to get one. Let's get one. Let's get one. We yeah. try to resist, but there's just no way the to smell. resist it. If you've never been to Ben's Cookies, the smell will just uh, blow you away completely. I really, really couldn't resist it. I got triple chocolate. What'd you get? I got milk chocolate. We really keeps the same ones. Yeah. yeah to a shopping centre without Primark. <laughs> <laughs> How cute are these? That is cute. Bag, isn't it? We've also got the Little Mermaid one, which has got two smaller ones inside. And that one is ten. Look at Sebastian on the little... <laughs> <laughs> That's really cool. That's cool. We're going to get this for our friend. Really nostalgic. They've got light up yo yo's. Got one of them, I remember they? this as a kid. Yeah, Such good memories. I just knocked one on the floor. <laughs> Massive. They are really big, aren't they? They're about for £6, though. They've got the Disney ice lolly moulds here. And the little Disney oh, the bowls as well. They're actually really cute. Yeah. I think we should get them. Yeah. Five pounds. Uh, five pounds? That's not bad. Oh. Rich has just seen something that's made him really happy. <laughs> Let's have a closer look. Alien straws. Oh my god. How much are they? They are two pound fifty. Wow. That is really good value. Good value, yeah. So I know our friend Dawn has already picked these up from her store, but I think we'll get some extra ones. They all they all start turning around. <laughs> Again, really cool for two pounds fifty. Definitely a sign that summer is coming. I can't things. wait. Umbrella string lights. <laughs> and lights, like fruit lights. They're really cool. I've got to show you this mug though. Uh oh. <laughs> this isn't going to bode well. <laughs> I need to perk. Oh, oh, that is so cute. <laughs> How much only is that? 250. 250. Oh, I think I might need to make an exception for that mug. You normally stick to Disney World. I know, but it's so cute. Save the drama for your llama. <laughs> Sound advice. <laughs> got a stitch notepad there. It's actually furry. How cute is that? It's got material on the front then, like That's a so soft material. I'll take a picture. We found this on its own, just this box. It's um, going to be good for storage. £4.50. It is dented here though. We can't find whether it belongs well, no, somewhere. No, it's just a corner. It may be a little bit damaged, but it's not too much. We've got some inflatable cup holders, Mickey cup holder there, oh, and a swim ring as well. <laughs> so cool. And they've also got the one up here that's got mini ears on it. It's a flamingo with mini ears. <laughs> also, keeping in the universal theme, they've got a Jaws thing as well. I love all their summer stuff. Yeah. It's got the uh, Disney luggage tags here, so we've got mini. And a passport cover. And a passport cover as well. Snow White. And a padlock lock. <laughs> Upgrade, please. <laughs> How's your Primark shopping Lovely. going? We're in the mirror, look, we can talk to the mirror. <laughs> oh, yeah. So um, it's going quite well. This got quite Primark's a bit. got a lot more stuff in it. This, this Reading Primark is a bigger store. Yeah, so we're, we're sort of in our element right now. So we're going to the men's section now, see if they've got any Disney stuff. Ta da! Oh, men's Mickey PJs. They're cute. And they've got the Donald ones as well. We've been looking for a Hawaiian shirt for ages and we've just come across these in Primark. They're not too bad, yeah. Seven pounds. We were thinking about getting one when we were there, but if we can find one here. Just try and sunglasses. I said really, these really suit him. What do you think? They're not the normal sunglasses that I buy though. I think they really suit you. Let's give them a try. They're £1.50. Let's give them a try. It's on offer. Let's take some. <laughs> Let's get three. <laughs> what? No point getting one. So we've just nipped into five guys. And we're going to share some fries because they do epic fries here. So Luke's just ordering there and we're going to find somewhere to sit. And they also do Coke Freestyle, which is just every Coke style. Freestyle. I was just saying that one of the reasons why Five Guys is epic is for the Coke Freestyle. Yeah, we've got our to order, let's get to the seat. <laughs> so when it comes to freestyle, for me it's always got to be Diet Coke, vanilla, always. So we got a large fries to share. Wow. We've so got our big bag on. <laughs> <laughs> so we got the bag. 
Before we share a large fries, think about how many you actually get. And there's a couple. <laughs> so a couple there. there. So update on the fries. We are still, <laughs> still tackling them. I did quite well with these because um, I put vinegar in there, so I had the cup. And I don't have vinegar in mine, so it kind of worked quite well. But yeah, they're good fries. They're proving to be quite a challenge. <laughs> Car. Those Five Guys chips were so good. So good. Very successful shopping trip. We got everything we needed and more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been a little bit too much. Yeah. So we're heading home now. I have to tell you this story about this bird that has become obsessed with my wind mirrors in my car. Um, it was getting absolutely crazy. The, the bird is, I read it up online, that the bird is just obsessed with mirrors and it happens at like mating times. Yeah. And it has covered my whole windows in poo. It's like been pecking the window. So, so you put carrier bags in it. We're having to tie, the only way to do it is to deter them from seeing their own reflection. So I've been having to tie it, when we park up at home, I'm having to tie um, carrier bags around my window. But the problem is now, now you've done that, it's now going for my car. <laughs> yeah, I did warn Rich, I turned Rich's wind mirrors in, I was like, it's gonna go for your car now, and it's gone for the neighbor's car. And yeah, so we'll try and see it when we get back, but it's so funny. It's this tiny little bird, but the amount of mess it made, you wouldn't believe it. No. So yeah, gonna head home now, chill out, and just have a relaxing day. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. It's now Saturday. Oh, it's still Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> we are actually just up in our travel room, kind of vlogging room. Yeah. And we're just about to film a sit down um, vlog. Vlog, yeah, we're gonna talk all things dining character dining so really excited about that and willow's down there she's not liking the fact that she can't have a cuddle she's followed us both into this room she has a habit of doing this when if we go into a room she'll follow us in there come on she's yeah, gonna come plan on. is just to film a couple of vlogs tonight to get on the channel mm -hmm. and then have a chilled maybe a movie or something yeah i'm not too sure i've been flicking on netflix lately i'm looking for a really good movie i'm thinking action tonight yeah i'm thinking action so let's kick into our vlog some cake and we've got some merry berry lemon yogurt loaf which we've never tried before and a taste of difference red velvet cake so we'll show those later hopefully they look really nice. Be Sunday. Be Sunday. So yeah, it's almost one o'clock already. <laughs> the clocks changed last night, so um, we lost an hour in bed. Yeah, it changes slightly different. So if you're watching from America, obviously you guys changed about three weeks ago, but we finally caught up. Yeah, and we lost our hour in bed tonight. So never goes down well in this house. No. <laughs> so we're all tidied up, waiting for my mum and my grandparents to arrive. Yep, I just went down the tip to get rid of some rubbish yeah. and some recycling. And we got a candle going. The, the Christmas countdown is very out of date. We need to update that. Yeah. yeah. Got a nice Bath and Body Works cinnamon going. Cinnamon, yeah. Also got the skillet going. My oh my, what a wonderful day. <laughs> and I've got my mum's presents because we've we got exactly the same. So it's some Hotel Chocolate chocolates which are the Happy Mother's Day H-Box. And then we've done our mum's like a little Bath and Body Works set. So they've got like a, a body moisturizer, um, some lotion, a body mist, yep. and an anti-back. And then this cute little box. We got Let's these be honest, Luke, Luke did have a bit of fun with that, putting those little gift packs together. I like that, <laughs> yeah. So our mums are pretty much, they like similar things, so we kind of like duplicate when we do gifts and things. Yeah, yeah. it's identical. So Rich's mum's is upstairs. Yeah. And so you're heading to your mum's later. Later, so I'm gonna chill out with uh, your mum and grandparents this afternoon for a little bit, and yeah. then head over to my mum's. Yeah, so we're just waiting for them to arrive. So we put all the weed stuff out yesterday. Yes. So hopefully they'll start, the instructions say they're gonna grow vigorously and then die. So bye bye weeds. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna wait for that to clear up then we're gonna decide what to do. I did the rockery yesterday. Uh, I don't know if you can see from the see, window. Just over there. So I cleared all those out. Just over there. So I can, I'm gonna be the one to then plant it all. Yeah. So let's hope, let's hope it can bring the grass back. But Willow and Socks can't go out. They are not happy. But we're gonna keep them in for at least a couple of weeks. Yeah, just on the safe side. Yeah. Happy Monday, everyone. It is Monday the 1st of April, April Fool's Day. And not about you, but there is quite a lot of April Fool's jokes going around this morning. <laughs> um, let me know below the best ones you've seen, but I've seen that Hotel Chocolat are doing a hot chocolate and beef hot chocolate, which just sounds horrible. And I saw Radox are doing a bath 
um, mixture that turned you tanned while you bath, so that sounds fun. So yeah, um, today I am editing the weekly vlog, so for previous week, and it's a lovely sunny day, I've just watered the garden because we've put this weed stuff down, so fingers crossed it works. And Willow's been sunbathing, so I'll show you her in a minute as well. So the interviews went well and I've been invited back so I've got more interviews coming up. They are over the next couple of weeks so there's a bit of time so I'm going to be focusing on those. Um, this week is about getting ready for Shanghai. It's just over two weeks to go but I need to get things like the currency ordered, finalise the park tickets and then we're going to be filming our Shanghai planning vlog. We wanted to make sure that all components were sorted before we did that just so we could um, talk through each bit in detail. Willow is down here on the floor, which is why I'm looking down, because she's just chilling. I'm gonna show you her. Willow. Monday morning, chilling in the sun. Hello, are you relaxing? <laughs> a lovely sunny day. She's not allowed out because of the weed killer down. But yeah, you're having a lovely day, aren't you, darling? Good girl. You just chill out there. We didn't really um, do much vlogging yesterday. It was Sunday, it was Mother's Day. I had my mum over, my grandparents, Rich was here. We had a really nice time. Um, we're still getting to grips with the weekly vlogs and what we include, what we don't include and gradually putting more in. But we had a lovely, lovely time. Um, lots of chatting, lots of catching up. They're both, my grandparents are doing really well. They've just come back from a holiday in the Canaries and they, they looked really well as well, which was nice. So yeah, lovely, lovely day. Um, Today is lovely and sunny, so it's really, really nice. And I'm gonna get on and edit this weekly One vlog. of the greatest challenges with editing um, for vlogs right now is music and any sort of copyright. So recently, this week, we had a copyright claim against us, which isn't always a really bad thing. It just means that you need to look at it and address it. And YouTube aren't giving you a copyright strike, so they're not telling you off, but it may mean other factors, like it's not viewable on some devices, it's not viewable in certain countries. So this week, it was a nine second clip of music playing in the background that I hadn't even noticed when editing, and neither had Rich. So it was that inconspicuous, but it picked it up, and obviously the owner of that music wanted to take over the monetization of that video. So they wanted to earn all the revenue from it for nine seconds of a half an hour video. So thankfully you can edit in YouTube and put music over it. Um, and we use Epidemic Sound. So we pay a, a monthly subscription for all our music and it's brilliant. It just means that we can know that all the music we use is copyright free. But that is one of the biggest challenges because firstly I'd love to keep a lot of the Disney sounds in, but Disney, everything for Disney is copyright. So as much as like parades and fireworks, I'd love to keep it all in and the rides, but it just means that our videos may not be viewable. Uh, some of the Frozen songs are very restrictive and blocked. So that is one of the challenges and that's why, you know, we're now having to really listen hard to make sure there's not enough anything playing in the background, especially in shops and out and about because we've always tried to block that out and, and if it is tiny, we've, we've left it in as kind of, well, it was unavoidable, but now we're really gonna have to look at putting um, music over even the smallest clips. Um, so that is something to bear in mind. If you are thinking of starting vlogging, or you are already, it's definitely a challenge now, more than ever. And there's obviously a lot of copyright stuff coming up. And I get it, we're not trying to benefit from it. We're not intentionally using any of that music. It's always trying to avoid it, but it is a challenge. Good morning, happy Tuesday. I am drenched. I don't know if you can see on camera, there's like water dripping off me. Um, thought I'd walk to the shop and the forecast wasn't for rain and then it's just come down and I'm just literally drenched. <laughs> so that wasn't very fun. So I got a few little bits. Um, we're trying to like not waste stuff. So we're trying to buy when we need it and it's working really well and actually saving money. So um, although we have a weekly shop with like the heavy stuff like water, laundry detergent, um, drinks, things like that, um, for little bits like fruit and veg, we're trying to buy when we need it. So kind of working, but I'll so, show you what, Rich is poorly today. So he's actually upstairs in bed. Um, he had a really bad night. So he's just trying to catch up on some sleep. So I'm trying to leave him to it. And I'm, that's why I'm vlogging in the kitchen. Um, there's like three doors between us. Um, but I picked up some more biscuit brew in the new branding because we're running low and it's just my favorite for an afternoon tea i got rich some 
chocolatey squares, just a little treat um, to help with his energy later on if he can have those. And I've got some Tom Bears, which I haven't had since we were like kids, but they're really nice. And then got the oh, she was, like, loves fish fingers, and there was this offer on, and this was three pounds fifty for thirty, which I thought was quite a good deal. So I got this big pack of fish fingers for tonight. So there we go. So today I am just doing a lot of admin. Uh, my interview, I've got another interview coming up, so I've got a lot of prep for that. So the interviews I've done are going well, and I've got callbacks for those for further interviews. So some of the interviews have got sort of two or three stages with presentation and various things. So, um, lots on. So, and obviously looking after Rich and making him drinks and stuff today. So yeah, but it's really horrible out. So yeah, you can see the rain out there. I've just got caught in. Of course, it's almost pretty much stopped now. Um, but the weeds are all starting to die, which is good. So we're gonna get them, you can see them all starting to go over and die, so we can get them all taken out. And the bed's ready for planting. So yeah, it'd be really nice when the grasses get these weeds done and then hopefully get the lawn back to colour. And yeah, we'll see how it goes, see if we can recover it. If not, we're going to have to go to a rich, nice glass of water in an alien cup. And it's so exciting when birthday cards start arriving. This is my birthday on Friday and they've started coming through the post. So I'm leaving them all ready for Friday. Happy Tuesday. How are you feeling? I'm feeling better. I've literally, I've slept most of the day today. Um, so it's just been one of those days where I need some rest. Yeah. So we've got our new styling cards. So uh, we've had one styling card for well over a year, maybe longer. It's a brilliant currency card. Yeah. Um, we're going to talk about currency cards in the vlog soon, but we've got rich one and then now we've got a joint one as well. So you can have an individual account and a joint account. So gives us lots of options, doesn't it? Yeah, it was super easy, but we'll go into detail about the cards, but to get a joint account, it was super easy. And we're gonna make some hot chocolates. I think, Rich, you're having this one, aren't I'm you? I'm gonna have the Mickey's Cocoa Salted Caramel. Looks good. Uh -huh, it's, gotta, it's gotta be salted caramel. And I'm gonna try and find some hot chocolates. I'm gonna go for one of these Belgian Options hot chocolates, which are really nice. So let's make some have it. I've got the options one there, and Rich has got the really cool Mickey mug. I'm just gonna insert these chocolate squares, which apparently Luke told you about earlier because I was feeling poorly, and they are so nice. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, can I enjoy this now? On a walk, it's a really cold night, so we're gonna just enjoy just it. Just had the weekly shop delivered, and I got some uh, items to show you. Of course, limited edition that Rich loves, but Muller are doing these cake shop that looks so good, and it's cherry bakewell and treacle tart yogurts. They look so nice. And also got toffee cheesecake inspired yogurts. Rich is gonna love these. He's no idea these are coming. And stocked up on some sweets. These are our sweets that we always take to theme parks and holidays and just a little sugar boost through the day. So yeah, most of it was boring otherwise. Happy Wednesday, Wednesday. everyone. What day are we on? <laughs> <laughs> so I did a little bit of vlogging earlier when the food shop came and Rich is home now. I'm back to work today so I'm all better now so yeah, yeah back to the grind. <laughs> and this evening we're seeing our friend Kelly and I think we're going to go to Costco. Yeah it's been a while. Yeah browse Costco and maybe have some dinner there so yeah we'll take you with us. Okay so we're just putting up to Costco now and in the, back, in the back hiding in the back Kelly. Hey. Hello. <laughs> We're all, hey. excited. <laughs> we're all excited to get into Costco because we were just saying the only thing we need is black bags. Yeah, <laughs> literally, trash bags. Trash bags. So yeah, so literally. We come all the way to Costco for trash bags. And dinner, and dinner. And dinner. And yeah. a browse. Oh, we're going to see what's around and stuff as well. Yeah. And catch up with our favourite friend Kelly. Yes. <laughs> we're just having a big catch up. All work related, all positive. <laughs> um, here we go. <laughs> um, so here we go. Go. Vegas! Look at it! Paris! That's the hotel we stayed in, not that oh, one. It's gone now. And look at this hot tub over here. That is a huge swimming pool. Wow, no, that's our, like the whole garden. And then massive, massive. This is like American stuff. This is nice. We should have a sit. <laughs> Kelly's on trolley duty. <laughs> <laughs> is that nice? That's very comfortable. Look at the Tassimo's and it's 19 99 for five packs but... You buy them on offer. But they are actually only, yeah they're cheaper in um, 
when they're on offer in Sainsbury's. They have four pounds. Cases, yeah. American Tourister. No Disney ones though. And they do massive beach towels, don't they? These beach towels are huge. Super colourful. But they're massive. What do you think? I've just seen something Disney related. There's our trolley pusher. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these. They're massive. Don't you just want to sort of sink into there and go? Yeah, it's like a little bean bag. <laughs> <laughs> Twinkies. Twinkies. Oh, five pounds seventy-nine is not bad actually for twenty Twinkies. That's not bad. Yeah. You had a Twinkie before. I don't think I've ever had a Twinkie. We should get one so you can try I'm it. Only snack one. It's just like a nice little cream-filled snack. Look at the amazing cakes at Costco do. We, we normally get the red velvet cake, but only when there's an occasion, because this is just way too big for me and Luke on our own. We've got a lemon cheesecake. I'm really sorry, because if anyone's watching this, it's probably gonna make you really hungry. Salted caramel cheesecake. Tiramisu, I'm not a fan of tiramisu, but it at least looks good. What are you looking at? What's this? this? A focaccia. A focaccia? Savoury. This is, look at this apple pie. It's that huge. is the best buy. Cinnamon, cinnamon buns. £3.49. £3.49. All of that. The only problem with these muffins is that they do it on buy one get one free and to have 12 muffins is just way too many. So we're always put off by buying them but they do look so good. Especially these ones. Raspberry and white chocolate muffin. Okay, very boring, but here's what we came for. Uh, bin bags. Here we go. <laughs> so, so far on the trolley, trolley update. Olives, bin bags, cookies, and some sort of stain remover. Uh, and our glamorous trolley pusher, right. Kelly. You're doing a very good job. <laughs> Kelly's bought nothing yet. Just, no, the cookies are Kelly's. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly's saving pizza. You're saving yourself a pizza, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. That's good. Okay, so we're on the hunt for Sweet Baby Ray's and we've been down every single aisle and cannot find it. Guys, Sweet Baby Ray's, I can't find it. No. I know, I think they've stopped doing it. Facing up to the sad truth that this Costco may have sold out of Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. This is not good times. So, I'm going to have to break the news to Luke. Luke, Luke, Sweet Baby Ray's, I think it's officially sold out. Let's Sad faces. Down there, there's more stuff down there. Here she comes. <laughs> now Costco do the best pizza, and it's American Kenny's size. Look at the size of this pizza. What'd you go for? Cheese. Cheese. cheese pizza. My own cheese pizza. <laughs> so I've got a birthday present bag from Kelly, and she's really keen for me to open it now. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like trying to hold out as long as I can. And look at these Easter eggs that Kelly's got. Ultimate fruit and nut, but the the shell has like the chocolate in it. It's amazing. Hello everyone, it's Thursday. Uh, I'm not saying happy Thursday because it's been an interesting morning. I went to get my hair cut. I just got out of the shower. Um, <laughs> so what happened was I went to get my hair cut, and on the way back on a really big road, my car broke down, and it's never happened to me before. And it literally, I was in the third lane of traffic and went to have it lights and the car just literally died completely dead and i didn't know what to do so i had to try and push the car um out of the traffic because people were just coming down at 70 miles per hour and you know i didn't know what to do so luckily a really nice guy helped me um thank you so much for that person because i didn't know what to do i was gonna have to abandon the car because it wasn't safe so they managed to push me onto some lines I then went to the other side, stood there, and then I called 101, which is like our local non-emergency police line, to let them know because I was still in the middle of like a central reservation and it, it wasn't, you know, if a lorry had come or something, it would have hit my car and caused an accident. So then I had to wait for the police and during this time it was chucking with rain. And I just want to say thank you so much to a lovely couple who stopped and they said they watch our vlogs and they saw me there and they were on their way to Reading for um to celebrate one of their birthdays so happy birthday thank you so much i saw i didn't get your name but thank you for offering a lift it was really kind so the police moved me to the other side and then i waited for the rac to come who were like the repair people um and yeah the car wasn't good 
So it's something to do with like one of the belts in the engine. Don't think it was cam belt, but I don't know too much about cars. So I had to be towed and it was, while I was waiting, I couldn't wait in the car, so I was drenched. It's freezing, so you get the picture. People were beeping at me and shouting out the window and I was like, I'm broken down, I can't do anything else. And the police put me there, so they were happy where I was, that it was the best place for my car. And yeah, so then got towed to a local garage and they can't do my car till Tuesday. So this is our weekend away tomorrow for my birthday. So yeah, I've just been looking at different car rental options because Rich's car, it's fine for small journeys, but it's not going to do for a long journey to the Cotswolds. So yeah, today hasn't been the day I planned. So <laughs> um, a bit shaken, like not shaken up, but like it was a bit shocking at the time. And I've hurt my shoulder a little bit when I was pushing the car because there was only two of us and it's so heavy and I was trying to steer and push and I think I've just pulled a muscle there. But yeah, so it's really nice there's kind people that offer help and I just can't believe that, but so nice. So yeah. Not the day I was expecting. It's the first time in like 15, 16 years driving that I've ever been, had an accident, not an accident, but ever broken down. Um, yeah, so now gonna see what we're gonna do about renting a car. Hello and happy Thursday. Now the reason why I'm whispering, you've just got me at the moment, um, is it's Luke's birthday tomorrow and a little tradition of mine is to decorate the downstairs for his birthday. And you might be wondering why there's a Mickey balloon in the background, but um, all will be explained so it's just literally a quick Thursday evening update tomorrow we're gonna vlog um, it's Luke's birthday and we're going away for the weekend I get to finish early which is amazing um, so we can get his birthday started even sooner um, when I get out of work so I'm just gonna share with you the sort of bits and pieces that I've left out for him and uh, yeah I hope he really likes it so yeah I'll show you now so you'll see more in the morning, but um, I've just got some banners up. I nipped to um, Clinton's earlier today to get this big Mickey balloon. And it was walking through the town centre with this Mickey balloon while I was getting some looks. But um, I don't care because it's for Luke. Um, and I've got some banners up on the window. So these will be closed tonight. But in the morning, I'll open these up and you can see his Disney so, banner. Yeah, I'm going to sign off. Thursday evening now. Sorry it was just a quick update. Work has been very very busy this week and we've had lots and lots going on. Luke had problems with his car today which was perfectly timed for his birthday so excellent. These things always happen at the worst possible time but um, I'm looking forward to his birthday tomorrow because he deserves just the best day. Um, I wish we were going far away but we've got some big trips coming up so they will be amazing to look forward to, but I'm super excited to take him away to the Cotswolds this weekend. You'll see a little bit in the vlog tomorrow, and then for the rest of the weekend, we'll be taking the camera with us, and you can see the cottage that we're staying in as well. So I will see you in the morning with Luke. Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. It's my birthday, and I woke up this morning to this amazing display from Rich. Really sweet. Some Mickey stuff. So yeah, really, really lovely to wake up to. And I'll have a picture with that later. So yeah, starting the day slightly different to plans, but I'm gonna walk this morning to Avis to pick up a car because obviously yesterday with my car, it's not gonna be available and we wanna drive up to um, the Cotswolds. So we're gonna rent a car, which is fine, got a good deal. Tell you more about that later. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna go and collect the car and then come home. Picked up a nice Java chip Frappuccino. Collected the car, all okay, we'll show you it later. But yeah, all good. Home. So I walked to Avis and collected the car. Service was brilliant in there. Um, really lovely lady. Um, just like, she thought it was my birthday on my ID, so the happy birthday. And yeah, went to collect currency for China. And I went up to the currency booth in Sainsbury's and the lady said, Oh, you collected your currency yesterday. I said, definitely not, because like everything that went on. And she said, no, it's been signed for. And she checked it all. And it, like whoever had accepted yesterday had ticked off that I'd bring up my ID, that I'd bring my debit card, and I hadn't. So I said, well, you can check the CCTV because it definitely wasn't, wasn't me. And there was two orders with very similar names, same currency. And I think they'd given my order to someone else. So thankfully I got the currency 
because I said, look, we're going in two weeks. And she's kind of reordered it, but she said, look, there's enough here for you to have yours. So it was really good. But I'll show you it, it's very yeah, So we got some 50s and some 100s. We only got about 100 pounds worth of currency, just literally for taxis and little things. So most of it we're gonna use our currency cards. And this was the lovely cake that I was woken up to this morning with. Well, not woken up, but I came downstairs and Rich had put some candles on it and sung me happy birthday. So that's coming with us. Yeah, so we got a really nice Vauxhall Mocha. It's like an SUV and it was £83 for four days um, via, I think it was Auto Europe we rented from. I'll try and find the, don't know where I've put them now. But yeah, it was Auto Europe and it includes a, an additional insurance which covers you for the excess. So like normally we'd have to pay a £1,000 excess if we damage, but this has a waiver for that and they refund you. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. So I'm now gonna finish tidying up, pack, and then Rich is coming home in about two hours and we're going to get on the road to our car. Happy Friday! Hi. <laughs> we're together! Yeah! So it's Friday, it's the weekend and we are off on a trip in the UK for a change. Yeah. <laughs> so excited. So it's Luke's birthday today. Happy birthday. I think I've said that to you so many times today. Yeah, I got a happy birthday sung to me this morning with a cake. <laughs> Didn't eat the cake yet. <laughs> no, we brought that with us this weekend. But just want to say thank you so much for all everyone's birthday wishes today for Luke. Yeah, thank you so much. It's been so lovely. Yeah. And we're off to the Cotswolds this yeah, weekend. Yeah. So right are. now we're on the road, we're going to the Cotswolds, we're about an hour away and we're ready just to relax in a really quaint cottage in I the middle of nowhere. I can't wait to see it. Rich, Rich has booked this and like this is my birthday present. Rich has booked it and um, we've obviously got the rental car sorted which is really nice. Yeah, you're enjoying it. Yeah, it's lovely to drive. A little bit of an novelty. I'm having to drive. <laughs> but it was just, it was quite a lot to add a second driver on wasn't it? So we're just like, you know, it's annoying we have to pay for a, a rental car anyway, but to add extra on, you know. We I got a really good deal, like it, was, yeah. it works out like £20 a day, yeah. including the additional insurance, which is really not bad for a last minute booking. I did say to Luke, I was like, I'm really, really annoyed that you're driving on your birthday, because if I, I don't had, mind, it's a lovely car to drive. I know, but I'd rather drive on your birthday. So, we, we've never really um, splashed out on cars because we like to save our money on holidays. Yeah. So I think it's time to get a new car. So this is quite nice to drive and, and see how yeah. we get on with it. Yeah, like you say, we've never been the people to, to splurge on cars, like fast cars or really expensive cars. I mean, we like a decent car, we need a decent car for our jobs, but we'd rather spend our money on holidays. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. So that's, that's a money saving tip. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got a load of food in the back. We're mainly taking food ourselves. We're gonna have one like pub meal out, aren't we? Yeah, tomorrow. One, yeah. You've booked a nice pub, haven't you? Yes. Yeah. So yeah, we're going to a nice pub that's walking distance. But I think we're gonna get there, check out the cottage, and then go for a nice walk, I think. Yeah, and of course we'll show you as well. The weather seems all right. Yes, it was gonna rain at one point, but now it's, the sun is shining, so. <laughs> Literally going right through the middle of a field. I love these trees. <laughs> I love these trees. It's really pretty, isn't it? Yeah, it's just starting to bloom. Bumpy. It looks like we've got a farm coming up. It's the but this road is so bumpy, so apologies if it's coming out really bumpy. Yeah, we just had uh, like a big van come towards us. <laughs> We're like, ah, <laughs> move over. <laughs> They're just starting. The fields are just starting to bloom a little bit. Ah, uh, it's really pretty. So we are literally two minutes away from arriving to the cottage. It's so exciting. And I can see the, the red dot on the sat now. Yay! Coming into the village. Oh, look at these! Oh, wow. I love these kind of buildings, thatched roofs. So we've got to keep an eye out for the cottage because they're not numbered, they're just named. So let's, let's just find our bearings. Oh look, there's an even a, a... Oh, a little red telephone box. We'll have to walk down there and get a picture. Oh, look how cute. This is like really tiny village. 
Look at this. I'm wondering if it's here on the left. There's no one behind us, so we can go We've slow. We've got time to go slow. Not this one. Is it this one? I can't see a name. But look at that anyway, if it isn't. <laughs> can't see a name. This was the cottage. Look at this. Oh. So we've got to try and manoeuvre the car into the, Here we the space. Oh, I can't wait to explore. I know. Let's go and explore before we do anything. never stayed in a fast trip. Look at the garden. Wow, it's a little bit windy. But look at this. Wow. I'm just reading the instructions. <laughs> so this is that whole garden here. Oh, there's a massive field on the back. It's quite a big garden, isn't it? Yeah. And I was reading online that there's like a separate garden bit here, but they purposely leave it a little bit overgrown just so it's got a little bit of character to it. That's how the owners prefer. And then there's a nice seating area over here, which would be perfect in the summer months. But right now it is quite cold. So, but look at this cottage. I'm so happy with it. I can't wait to see inside. So it's Luke's birthday present. So I'm gonna let Luke do the honors of, <laughs> of going in first. I'm gonna shut the gate. Uh. One, there's no alarm, is there? No, no, I don't think there's an alarm. No. So hopefully this oh. works. Oh, first time. Oh, watch your head. Watch your head, yeah, there's already been one, there's low beams. Here we go. It's got music playing. Oh. How cosy is this? There's like a log fire. There's a light on. Oh, wow. I'm still going to do a full pan just so you can see it's. Watch your head. I know, you've got to watch your head because it's like really low beams. Oh wow. It's got a nice little table here. And with Free stuff. <laughs> it looks like free stuff. Cotswold fudge. No way. Smooth vanilla. <laughs> a little book, guest Ooh. book. Beers. Is that lemonade? Apple and elderflower. Okay. Look at the little flowers there. The flowers. Oh, look perfect for our um, our tea in the morning. Yeah. Oh well, no! Look at this. Oh. tea. Wow. So yeah, there's like a little kitchenette here. It's nice. And the ceilings. I'm just trying to try and get you to understand the ceilings. Like, there's Luke's head. <laughs> look at the little front door. It's like a little hobbit's town. <laughs> <laughs> With some umbrellas as oh, well. Oh, do you need to bring an umbrella? No. I've got a flashlight. It's very well equipped from what we've seen so far anyway, yeah, so. they've got the kettle, toaster, they've got an espresso, fridge. Oh, there's yeah. milk. There's milk in the there's fridge. There's a little freezer. Little freezer, yeah. Just what we need. That's really cute, isn't it? And there's... Oh, little dishwasher. Little dishwasher, and we've got some washing up things there. Oh, they've got Nespresso. Nespresso pods. <gasps> oh, Nespresso pods. And just looking out this little tiny window here. <laughs> All glasses. So we're pretty in awe right now. This is really cute, isn't it? Yeah. So let's explore the rest of the uh, the cottage. So I'm just looking at where, where do we actually go up? And there must be a little door <laughs> over here. <laughs> Ready? Oh, here we go. Oh, look. Wow. Wow. I'm gonna let you go first. Do you wanna hold the camera or do you want me to hold the camera? Hold, hold the camera. camera. I was reading the, in the instructions oh that God, there's this a... is steep watch your head. Oh wow, this <laughs> is very, very steep. <laughs> wow. Be careful you. I'm gonna take a picture to try and make a picture of this. Guy. So and then we come straight up to the bedroom. It's a one bedroom cottage, so it's it's not huge, but it's perfect for us. We've got a nice TV oh, there. Wow. Oh, God. 
Little window. There's oh, a wow. cute bed here. Wow, yeah, nice. I know. There I'm gonna go through to this is the ensuite bathroom. There we go. Look at that bath. Freestanding bath. Oh. <laughs> wow. The toilet and. It's really nice, isn't it? Yeah, look at all these. Again, nice pictures. What do you think, Luke? Do you like it? Yes. Yeah? You. Constantly got to watch your head because there's like really low. It's quite warm. I'm, I know it's, it's not cold, it's is it? It's warm. Yeah. It's nice. So, yeah, we're going to get the stuff in now, aren't we? Go. We have to be super careful on these stairs. <laughs> I just hit my head for the first time. I just said to Luke. It won't be the last time. It won't be the last time that, that we do this. Oh, this is deep. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know if I showed this, the, the log fire. Oh. Oh yeah. We've got some kindling and all the bits and pieces there. Yeah. It's lovely. And look, they've even got the world of Downton Abbey. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like the heat is, the floor's heated. Here. Yeah, I thought the heat the floor. The, the heated. floor is actually heated. Yeah, it's warm. So we were just reading in the um, owner's manual, and we knew before we came that this is a cottage that dates back to somewhere between 1620 and 1640. Yeah. And it was a Grade Two listed farm workers' cottage. So there's all this information in here. I love reading all the history about um, where we stay. Yeah. So they bought the cottage in May 2010. So they've had it a while. Yeah. So there's loads of information all about it. So Rich booked this through Airbnb. So we've used Airbnb before. It's really good. And obviously we have got a code below if you want to get a discount on a room as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah, check that out. We always do a Wi-Fi check whenever we get somewhere new. So this Wi-Fi is almost offering 60 megabyte down and almost 20 megabyte up, which is That's really not bad good. at all. I'm really, I'm really surprised that something as old as this cottage, to be able to offer the speeds of that much. Yeah, because it is in the middle of nowhere, but I'm yeah. guessing they've obviously got a way to do it now, so. Right, let's get the stuff yeah. in. Supplies. <laughs> Luke's been busy at <laughs> Sainsbury's <been> busy. <laughs> today. So we got some apple juice, and I got Rich some watermelon and star fruit. I saw this in the cart the other week, and I was like, I have to have that. <laughs> um, some mini eggs, which are just so good. Um, some peanuts. Got some Doritos. Rich is having chicken nuggets tonight. I've been craving chicken nuggets and chips for ages. And I'm having a stone baked pizza. And then for tomorrow, we've got like some picky bits. We've got little sausages, sausage rolls, we've got uh, coleslaw, garlic bread. garlic bread. I've got some olives from Costco. Party food, basically. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yogurts for the morning. And uh, yeah, we've got some biscuits as well. Malted milk chocolate biscuits. I didn't check if they've got tea. Oh, yeah, afternoon tea. Not afternoon tea, morning tea. Oh, morning tea. We will have to go on a little mission to see if they've got any tea bags. To find some tea bags. <laughs> we think these are actually just breakfast tea in here, but we'll find out. Just yes. been opening my birthday cards, and there's some definite themes. I got this one from the cats, <laughs> <laughs> and they actually gave me some dollars. <laughs> They're naughty, those to cats. The Willow and Socks got me some dollars for tuna from America. They are for tuna from America. Yeah. <laughs> Rich got me this lovely card, Mickey Mouse. It's really cute. I got this really nice gift from our friend Kelly and Jim. And it's a Mickey Kafkitson mug. I haven't seen this mug I've before. I've seen that one. And plates, it's so nice. Lots of little cat ones, which is really nice. And I got a Mickey one here from a friend Dawn. So yeah, lovely opening on my cards. So we've got changed into our roughs. We're gonna go for a walk. There's a local pub, so. <laughs> when in doubt, go to the pub. We're just gonna have a look around the garden properly with the... So this is the moat that goes around the house. So it goes that there was warnings on the uh, instructions to mind the moat. <laughs> and you can tell why, because that would be quite a hefty fall. Just literally nothing but fields. How nice this is where I want to live. Yeah, right out in the country. Yeah, this would be lovely. I'm not sure I could live in a cottage though, because I've hit my head all the time. But <laughs> that you'd get used to it. I really, really whacked my head. I knew I would. Oh. 
So we spotted this as we came into the village earlier on, but there's a little red telephone box and you just don't see them anymore, do you? They just, they've all gone away. This is more like what most of them are like. In London, they're all kept, unkept. Yeah, but the ones like this, like, it's this all very more, authentic. More realistic than what they really like. Yeah, and there's a little cute um, bus stop here. And normally around where we live anyway, you wouldn't get a sort of housed bus stop. No, so that's cute. And you've got all the old churches down there. No signage. Room. I just love listening to the birds and the peacefulness. We walked the wrong way. <laughs> so we're walking, but this is the way we came in. Yes, this is the way we came in, so we know it's not the right way. on the right route now. Yeah, we took a little little bit of a wrong wrong way, but uh, we can blame Google Maps, because Google Maps is, we're really struggling with it at the moment, aren't we, on our phones? Yeah, it struggles, but this, the 4G is like full bars out here, so we've got good network. Yeah. But yeah, it's about a 15 minute walk to a little pub. Yeah, we'll have a drink. We're just saying that we might see if we can walk there and back to lunch, because we're going to try and go to lunch at the same place tomorrow. Yeah. It's like so, the only pub around. Yeah. But yeah, as you can see, it's very quiet. It's lovely. It's so it's, nice. It's just, it'd just be nice if it was sunny. Yeah, we, we're looking like, it's looking like we're gonna get some sun tomorrow. Yeah. But I'm gonna show you now, literally, this is what we can see. It's just <laughs> fields and trees. It feels and like the Vicar of Dibley. It does. <laughs> Without a big puddle to jump in. Yeah, so we've got about seven or eight minutes to go. So we're going down the hill and then we've suddenly thought to ourselves, this is gonna be quite steep going back. Look at that. <laughs> it doesn't look that much. It do, the camera doesn't do it justice, but this is gonna be a, a bit of a walk when we get back. I'd rather go uphill to the pub and then come downhill to go back. Yeah. <laughs> and then there was this jingling noise and it's the keys in my pocket. <laughs> yeah. And we're like, what's that jingling noise? And every time I stopped, it stops. Like, it's my and even though we're going to the pub, neither of us actually drink, so we're gonna be on Diet Cokes. <laughs> We've got the, the um, Tots TV music on because someone said the cottage looks like Tots TV. <laughs> so we really got our phones out, like, let's get on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a kids TV program. Yeah, so if you're not familiar with Tots TV, it's a kids program from years ago in the UK. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, comment below if you remember that. These are the things that we get up to, seriously. <laughs> So we made it to the Tunnel House Inn. And look at, we can get a really good view of the, um, the canal, would you say? I'm going to call it a canal. Yeah, and obviously this must be the tunnel that we're under now. Yes. It's going over. So let's go check this out. And lo and behold, there's information on the canals. <laughs> <laughs> the Cotswold Canal. Cotswold Canals, yeah. It says, the canal was opened in 1789, gave market access to London for businesses Birmingham, Gloucester and Stroud. There you go. There you go. You learned something new today. It's going in. Welcome to the tunnel. I don't think it's anything here. The Cotswolds one might be worth looking at. Birdland. <laughs> Birdland. <laughs> a, classic, bird one. a Jurassic journey. I think that's probably the only one we need is this one. Yeah. Let's yeah, that was very nice. I'm having lunch there tomorrow. But you just come out and it's silent. Peaceful. Now we've got to walk up that hill. Back to the cottage. We made it. So it was about 40 minutes back in the end because we did a little detour and just wandered around the local area and it's so picturesque. We saw some nice houses. <laughs> yes, we did. Like, so we're going living here. 
So we're going to have some dinner now and then have a nice chilled evening. Yeah. But yeah, thanks for joining us on this weekly vlog. And tomorrow is going to be a new day and a new weekly vlog. Yes. So see you next week. Good evening. So I just wanted to say a very quick thank you for all the lovely messages that I had, that we had, um, from last week's vlog from me talking about my Crohn's disease. I had loads of lovely messages from people that also suffer from Crohn's disease or have similar illnesses, hidden illnesses, that found comfort in talking about these issues. And it was a big step for me and it was very daunting, but really pleased I did it. And I've had so many lovely conversations with people. So just a massive, massive thank you for all the love and support that I've had. So thank you.